So, hello, it's me, Jess, your friendly neighborhood bitch here. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I'm here to talk to you today about these so-called murder hornets. Um, they've existed in the United States for a while. Now, I know everyone's gonna say, No, Jess, what you're talking about are cicada killers. They're not the murder hornets. But guess what? They're the murder hornets. Um, last year, or like the year, maybe, maybe the year before, it was, it was summer, because I was outside with a t-shirt on, and I was petting my cats and talking to my cats and goofing around with my cats, ten seconds prior, I walk in, literally ten seconds, I grab food for them, like in a little cup thing, to take it out and put it in their bowl and feed them, you know? I walk back out, and my parents' house at the time had a porch light that was like automatic, it was motion sensed, right at my fucking eye level, right? So here's the door. My big ass walks out, and I hear what sounds like fucking hummingbirds. I turn, and there's like four or five of these motherfuckers circling this light. They are that big. And when you first see them, it's a little shocking. It's like, this is big as me. And I know that they are the murder hornets that you're talking about, because my uncle got stung with one whenever he was younger, and it literally made him physically ill. They have been known to kill people. Depends on your sensitivity to the venom. But I digress. Um, but to be honest, if you're allergic, any bee, any bee can kill you. Now, some people are more worried about honeybees colonies being, you know, taken over by these things than, you know, being actually stung. Which, it's true, if you just avoid them, you probably won't get stung. But other bees are what they prey on, so they're in more danger. But, my father um, uses brake parts cleaner. He went outside that night with brake parts cleaner, and they were all dead within, like, five, ten minutes. Um, what, he d what he says happens to them, now, I've never actually used this, but I've seen him use it. He sprays it on them, and it does something to their wings where they can't fly. And it must work, because if there's one there and he uses it, it's, it's, like I said, it's dead. Now, some states, it's not common to have them. And I know that in Washington State, that's where they found one. But, yeah, we've had them for literally years. I remember being a kid and my mom making us leave so my dad could kill one because it was in the house. Because she didn't want her children getting stung with one, because that's how bad they are. Um, and people say, oh, those are cicada killers, they're nice. A, if it was a cicada killer and it was nice, it wouldn't fly right at you when it sees you. And my parents had a lilac bush, and it seemed to attract them. Like, that's where they hung out, that's where they, you know, communicated and had college sessions. So my parents had to get rid of a lilac bush. So my advice is, uh, if you have lilac bushes, get rid of them. I know that they're beautiful flowers, they're pretty, they lighten up your yard. Get the fuck rid of them, because for some reason they seem to, like, you know, be around that. There was a bunch of them that kept showing up, like, I mean, day after day, we'd see at least two near that bush. And I don't know if there was a hive beneath it. Um, my parents took the bush out, and uh, while they were cutting it down, no one got attacked, but... If you do have a lilac bush and you see some near it, uh, before you go chopping the bush down, I would, um... I don't know, like, make sure they're not burrowed in the ground, because I don't know how they make their nests. I don't know how they make their hives, and I'm not a, I'm not a bug expert. I don't know that much about them, but I do know what it seemed to be, and the things that I seem to see. Um, but, yes. That is my advice, and I would say, don't panic, because they've been in this country for a while. Some of you are like, no, the ones you're talking about are just big yellow jackets. No, the ones you're talking about are cicada killers. They're nice. No. They are murder hornets. Because when you have those motherfuckers around your house, you don't see very many other bees and wasps. Like, normally, we would see, like, the black wasps and the black ones that have the line on their ass that are, like, paper wasps or something. We would see them on our house and around our house and in our house. That year... We saw very few of those, and I'm just taking a guess it's because they either killed them or scared them away.
So, again, not trying to tell anyone what to do or what to think about this situation, but yes. And also, I don't know if anyone knows this, but I'm in Pennsylvania. I've seen videos of people that are in, like, Virginia or Tennessee or whatever and have found them. So they have been in this country for a while. So, at least since last year. So, y'all have a great day. Uh, don't be too afraid of these, like, murder hornets. Um, just be wary, you know? Do everything that you would normally do if you're, like, wary of bees, but just do it, like, a little more. Because maybe they're more populated now. Um, maybe they've always been here, but they're just, like, more, you know what I mean? Because no one's, think about it, think about it. If they've been in the United States... But normally, this time of year, there's people out mowing grass, there's people out playing frisbee, there's people out with their dogs and their cats, you know. They've had more natural, you know, predators and natural deterrents to keep them in their hives or, you know, at least hidden a little bit so that they're not just out flying willy-nilly. Um, this year, everyone's been inside. So they probably think, yay, we can come out now. That's my guess. That's, that's just my guess. But you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know the lighting is shit. I have a little lamp over here and I have it like pointed off to the side. That's what that's why it's like over in here there's like a big like halo thing going on. Because right there is my big light. Right here and right here. There's no bulb in this one. I took it out. Because I currently the way my stove is, it's going to be like right here. And it feels like that's a lot of heat. Because this is a trailer, a trailer, a flammable, in my opinion. So, I'm still trying to figure everything out. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a beautiful freaking day.